Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the fourth video of the series of system properties. In this video, we will be discussing causality property with examples. So first of all, uh, let's understand what is causality means. A system is causal. The output at any time depends only on the values of the input at the present time and in the past. Or another way we can say that a system is causal if the output does not depend on the future time. We will primarily be using this definition. Okay. The strategy will be that we put t is equal to 0 uh, to find yt and to see if it depends on the future value of xt or not. And in some cases, uh, the result may not be very clear. And then we should put more than one value, that is t is equal to 1 and minus 1. Especially in the exam, I, I must recommend that you try at least uh, two values other than 0. Okay, so the first question we are familiar is this question. The definition I'm just reproducing. This was the system. Put t is equal to 0. Put in t is equal to 0. We get y0. Here we get y minus 2. And here we get y plus 2. Now if you see the time diagram we are here, here. at this point, present time, y minus 2 is the past time and y plus 2 is the future time. So the, our definition says its system is causal if the output does not depend on the future. Now here the output is depending on the future therefore the system is not causal. So it's not causal or not causal system. Okay. The next example will follow similar technique. In this, put t is equal to 0, so y0, cos 0, x0. Now, cos 0 is 1, and so we can see that this is also present. Uh, y t uh, or y0 output is in the present time, and also x0 is in the present time, and therefore the system is causal. So we have, in both cases, we are at this point, zero. Third example, slightly tricky, and you have to be careful uh, with this type of example, especially you must note this point here, why they have given 2t, why not simple t? If it was, it was simple t, you could have easily solved, but if it is 2t, that means there must be some trick. So let's see that. First of all, putting t is equal to 0, we can see that y0 depends on from minus infinity to 0. So in the time scale, this is present and this is actually present and past, not only present. This because we are starting from minus infinity to present and past. We are at this point and also up to minus infinity, so this is past. And so according to definition, okay, now, according to definition, this looks like a causal system, both present. But I mentioned to you that this 2t might be tricky, so let's try another value. So put t is equal to 1, and now you can see that y1 is equal to from minus infinity to 2. Now this we can split to make it more clear. So minus infinity to 1 and then 1 to 2. Now we are at 1 at this point. And so the input is from minus infinity to 1. This is fine. This is past and present. But this from 1 to 2 is the future value. This is future value. And therefore this is non-causal system. So it's non-causal. So you can see the trick here. Third one, we follow the same technique, putting 
t is equal to 0 and there is no doubt in here that this is present, this is present and this is a past value and therefore the system is causal x 0 0 0 and x minus 2 is the past value so the system is causal. The next example is similar but it is the time is xt and I don't think it will make any difference in this case. So we are just following the same as the previous example putting t is equal to 0. We can see present, present and past and therefore this system is also causal. Next is yt is equal to xt by 3. Now here also you have to be careful. So putting y is equal to 0, we get present and present. But if we put y is equal to minus t, then y minus 3 is x minus 3 divided by 3, that is x minus 1. Now look at the time diagram. Where are we? We are at y or uh, the time t minus 3. So we are at this point. But the input is at minus 1. So ahead of this, that is future of the present time. With respect to minus 3, minus 1 is future. And therefore, this is a non-causal system. And finally, the system, nothing uh, different, just put t is equal to 0, present time, present time, and therefore it is a causal system. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Let me know your comments. Thank you.